Good evening po sa ating lahat mga kapatid. Tayo pong muli ay uh, ginader ng Panginoon upang tayo po ay maging bahagi muli ng prayer watch ngayong gabing ito. Kung maalala po natin, ang topic po natin ay nasa Ephesians chapter 1 at yung isa po sa mga naituro sa atin a few days ago ay yung pagpili po ng Panginoon sa atin bago po He created the world upang tayo po ay maging blameless in His sight. Um, naalala ko po yung isang awitin no na nung 90s isa sa mga lines po nung song na yon ay you know that i love you before i met you yung awitin po nito is a sweet song but it's actually impossible how can a person be able to love a person who he or she has not met yet sa case po ng ating panginoon this is really really, really possible and it is stated here in Ephesians chapter 1 Basahin po natin yung Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 to 6. Ang sabi po dito, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For He chose us in Him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in His sight. In love, He predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with His pleasure and will, to the praise of His glorious grace, which He has freely given us in the one He loves. Mga kapatid, do you consider yourself blessed? Kung tayo po ay Kristiyano, we are blessed indeed because we have this treasure that trust and most cannot destroy. This treasure is stored up for us in heaven. And sinasabi nga po dito sa binasa nating verses, katanggap dupla po tayo ng spiritual blessing. Uh, we've been chosen by God before He created the world to be blameless in His sight. Imagine ninyo po yun. We know that we do not deserve to be called blameless. We do not deserve to be called holy, a holy people. But God chose us um, not based on our merit, but based on His loving kindness to us, based on His mercy. It was His marvelous love that made this possible so that we have become children of God. Christ made this possible by redeeming us by His own precious blood. Mga kapatid, we do not deserve anything good from God, but He lavished His love upon us through Jesus Christ so that we will live for His glory and His glory alone. And our desire tonight is that we will indeed be reminded of who we are, of what God has given us through Jesus Christ, His Son. At uh, sa, api, sa ating pag-awit na ito, ay dalangin po natin na tayo po ay patuloy nga lamang magbigay ng papuri sa Panginoon na nagagaling po sa ating mga puso. Let's come before the Lord. Kami po, Panginoon, ay lumalapit po sa inyo, O Diyos, amang nasa langit. We thank you, O Lord, for your working, O God, in our hearts, in our lives, Lord. And we thank you, O God, that we are part of this ministry tonight for you have uh, great intentions for us, Lord. Panginoon, sa gabi pong ito, at dalangin lamang po namin na, Lord, kami po lamang ay mag-flow lamang, Panginoon, sa inyong naisin, Panginoon, sa inyong will for us. And at this particular moment, Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you will help us to, Lord, to see the, your glorious grace, to see, Lord, that, Lord, because of your love, you have predestined us, O oh God, Panginoon, to be your children, Panginoon. And we are thankful, O oh God, for this great and marvelous blessing that we have received through Christ our Lord. And we pray, O oh Lord, that you will continue, O oh God, to move in our hearts and Allow us, O oh Lord, to sing joyfully because of the salvation, O oh God, that we have in Christ. Salamat po, Panginoon. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa pangalan po ng Panginoong Yesus. and glorify our God, the Father of our Lord. In Christ 
Christ. He has in heavenly realms His blessings on us more. For pure and blameless in His sight, He destined us to be. And now we've been adopted through His Son eternally. To the praise of your glory, to the praise of your mercy and grace, to the praise of your glory, you are the God who saves. Come praise and glorify our God. Who gives His grace in Christ? In Him our sins are washed away, redeemed through sacrifice. In Him God has made known to us the mystery of His will, that Christ should be the head of all His purpose to fulfill. of your glory to the praise of your mercy and grace to the praise of your glory you are the God who saves come praise and glorify our God for we believe the word through our faith we have a seal, the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit guarantees our hope until redemption's done. Until we join in endless praise to God and three in one. To the praise of your glory to the praise of your mercy and grace to the praise of your glory you are the God who saves to the praise of your glory to the praise of your mercy and grace to the praise of your glory you are the God who saves. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, O God. We bless your name, Lord. For you have chosen us, Lord, before the foundation of the world, before all things were created, O God, so that we will be blameless, Lord, before you. Panginoon, we thank you, O God, for your love that predestined us, O God, to be your sons and daughters, Lord. And we are indeed, O God, for we will be forever grateful, O Lord because of this great salvation that you have granted upon us, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon. At dalangin po namin, Panginoon, that you will continue, O God, to work in our hearts, that we will indeed, Panginoon, be grateful, O God, be forever grateful for what you have done for us, Lord, through Christ, your Son. Salamat po, Panginoon. We glorify you, we exalt you, we submit our hearts to you tonight. Lord, salamat po, Panginoon. And we pray, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit will have the freedom, O oh God, to move, O oh God, tonight, Lord. Sa aming pong mga puso, Panginoon. Sa aming mga isipan, Panginoon. Be glorified, O oh Lord, and be exalted, O oh Lord. All this we pray, Panginoon, with thanksgiving, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Blessed Thursday evening, our dearest brothers and sisters. Uh, from our uh, church here in Baguio at sa atin din pong mga kapatiran mula po sa Gospel of Grace, Bayambang at sa mga taga-kamiling, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ngayon pong gabi, ang exhortation po natin ay pagpapatuloy po ng Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. For the past two prayer watches, we saw that we are chosen by God before time, that we are chosen in Christ, and Tonight po, mga kapatid, ang ating pong titingnan is that we have been chosen to be holy. Ito po yung ating message tonight. We have been chosen to be holy. 
my dear brothers and sisters, alam nyo po, kapag po nakakabagbasa po tayo, nakakapanood o nakakapakinig po ng mga news, no? With all the news pertaining to the COVID-19 pandemic, the global warming, mga news tungkol po sa mga leaders, no? Sa famine, racism, no po? At patungkol po sa mga... Uh, recession na nangyayari dahil nga po sa sa pandemic na ito no sa tingin ko po marami po sa atin ano po kahit po may faith tayo sa Panginoon ano minsan hindi po natin maiwasan na si shaken po talaga tayo ng mga bagay po na ito no and sometimes we can't help but be be worried ano po we can't help but be anxious at the same time ano po when we hear of these things no na na they flood our news feed and we hear about it all the time no po and let us also consider na ang prevailing world view po ng daigdig po natin ngayon is atheistic no so when we hear news no all of these news are actually secular pagdating sa world view meaning hindi din take into consideration no po yung existence po ng Diyos no secularized po lahat ng maririnig natin sa ating news sa ating paligid ano po yung world view po na nagpi-prevail sa mundo natin sa culture natin yan po ay secular no at hindi po fina factor in no, yung pong yun pong existence ng Diyos at hindi fina factor in yung yung plano ng Diyos no so that is why kailangan po nating mag-ingat na sa pakikinig po natin ng mga bali-balita sa pakikinig po natin ng lahat po ng mga ito Huwag natin kakalimutan na secular yung worldview na yun. Ano po, pero tayo po, dahil tayo po ay tinawag at pinili ng Panginoon, ang worldview po natin is biblical. No? Ang worldview po natin is a Christian ano po, worldview. And it really, really makes a world of a difference no? kapag yung worldview po natin is uh, influenced by our knowledge that God exists and that God has a plan and a purpose and most of all pag ang worldview po natin is influenced no by our calling our election as believers so paano po kaya how can christians keep their bearings no how can christians keep their bearings how can we keep ourselves anchored on spiritual things and our heavenly calling There is one thing, my dear brothers and sisters, that can keep us steady this whole time that we are being flooded by all this news. At ano po yung makakapag-keep steady po sa atin? Friends, what will keep us steady is our calling. No, It is our calling that God called us to a heavenly calling and that calling is for us to be holy. Amen po? That calling is for us to be holy. So allow me again po... I, Uh, dear brethren, to read Ephesians chapter 1. It says in verses 3 and 4, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world. And it says that we would be holy and blameless before Him. That is why the title of the message tonight is chosen to be holy. Dear brethren, ano po ba ang purpose ng election? Ano po? Of course, the ultimate purpose of election is the praise of the glory of God's grace. No? But here in verse 4, we will find that God chose us for a specific purpose. No? He chose us for a specific purpose. And it is for the purpose that believers will be holy and blameless in the sight of God for all eternity. Amen po? That is the purpose of election, that believers will be holy and blameless in the sight of God for all eternity. Amen po? So, uh, ang ganda-ganda nung layunin at pakay ng Diyos para po sa ating mga Kristiyano, no? para po sa kanyang church na nais po niya na forever and ever sa kanyang mga paningin, tayo po ay dalisay, busilak, tayo po ay holy and blameless sa kanya pong mga mata. 
no that in the eyes of the Lord na ispo niya na pagtiningnan po tayo ng Panginoon we are forever holy and blameless in the eyes of God amen po no God chose us to be perfect in his eyes and this is God's plan and purpose for us that is why Christians are not at a loss when finding meaning and purpose for their lives because God has already given us our purpose. No, He elected us, He chose us so that we would be holy and blameless in His eyes. Remember po that God chose us for Himself. Tayo po ay pinili ng Diyos para po sa Kanya. He chose us for Himself and He chose us to be holy and blameless. Again, babalik na naman tayo sa second person of the Trinity, no? Sino pong nag-accomplish po nito? The one who accomplished this is our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us this holy and blameless standing before God. And the Lord purchased no po, this holy and blameless standing before God, yung tinatawag po ng Romans chapter 1 verse 17 na, the righteousness of God that was revealed. And it is given to us by faith from first to last. Yun yung essence ng gospel. Na ang righteousness ng Diyos, no, ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, yun ay kanyang iniligay sa atin, inimpute po ng Panginoon sa atin. And how did the Lord Jesus Christ purchase that righteous, that righteous standing before God? No, It was through His death, no? It was through His death. Ngayon, ano po bang ibig sabihin, mga kapatid, nung, nung holy and blameless? Alright? Ano po bang ibig sabihin nito? Ang ibig sabihin po ng holy is to be separated unto God. Ano po? It means to be separated entirely unto God and to His service. Sa Tagalog, ang ibig sabihin po noon, tayo po ay inihiwalay o ibinukod ng Diyos para sa kanyang sarili ano po upang siya po ay atin pong pagsilbihan all right tayo po ay nilinis ng Diyos no we have been made pure by the Lord we are cleansed from all sin we are cleansed from all evil we are cleansed from profanity we are cleansed from all the the blemishes from all the iniquities of this world ano po? and we have been made pure so that we would be separated unto God ano po so mga kapatid yun po yung ang isang Christian hindi po tayo tumanggap lang sa Panginoon tas no save na tayo no meron pong malalim na ginawa ang Diyos sa atin pong identity at yun po yung tayo po ay kanyang inangkin. Ano po? Inangkin tayo ng Panginoon. Binukod tayo ng Panginoon para sa kanyang sarili. No? He made us holy and hindi po tayo para sa mundong ito. No? Mga kapatid, kung tayo po ay kristyano na, let us never forget, hindi na po tayo pag-aari ng daigdig. No? Tayo po ay binukod na ng Diyos para sa kanyang sarili. Tayo po ay possession na ng Diyos. We have been separated. We have already been made holy unto God. Now, ano naman po ang ibig sabihin ng blameless? No? Ang ibig sabihin po ng blameless, no? it, is, it means without blemish. No? Walang bahid, walang imperfection, walang dungis na kahit ano, without any blemish. Ang ibig sabihin po nito is to be free. Ano po? It is to be free from fault. No, I like what T.M. Lloyd-Jones said to, to compare holiness and blamelessness. Ang sabi ni D.M. Lloyd-Jones, yung holy, it is yung inward purity natin. Ano? And to be without blameless, it talks about our external or outward holiness. Kung baga po, makikita na wala pong kapintasan. Ano? Walang kapintasan. Wala kang pupwedeng mapintas o ma-accuse ano po, sa isang Christian. Ano po? Yun po ang ibig sabihin nun. Without blame. Without blemish. No? Blameless. And sa Bible po, ginagamit po ito pag nag-offer sa Panginoon ng isang uh, hayop no? nung panahon ng Old Testament that God is only worthy of the best and the most perfect sacrifice. Yung sheep na hindi walang blemish, no? Yung sheep na 
hindi pilantod, hindi bulag, hindi merong sakit, no? Yung sheep na perfect, no? Walang walang bahid, walang blemish kahit ano because God is worthy only of what is perfect. Again, no, let me share to you what the M. Lloyd Jones said. Sabi niya, the picture conveyed is that of fruit which has no specks upon it. Nakakita na po ba kayo ng uh, bunga, ano po, na meron pong specks, all right, no? Versus yung fruit, no? Like for example, a mango or a banana, no, na napakaganda, no? Dilaw na dilaw, no? At walang speck na kahit ano, no? And mahirap makahanap ng ganong fruit, ano po. Pero yun po yung picture. No little portions of incipient decay. No putrefaction, ano po. It is perfect. It is entire. So, this is God's purpose, no? For us, that we would be holy, all right That we would be separated, unto the Lord, no? Unto the Lord for His purpose, for His service. We are cleansed from all sin and that we would be blameless, no? It mean, meaning we have no blemish, no? We are faultless. We are, cannot be accused of anything. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, this is God's purpose for electing us. Ang tanong po ngayon ay ito. When does God's purpose to make us holy and blameless, when does it start to take effect? All right? We w- will we just wait to be zapped into holiness in our death? Okay, now, in principle, all right, in principle, dahil tayo po ay na kay Kristo na, we are already spiritually one with Jesus Christ. Then in principle, in the eyes of the Lord, Our position before the eyes of God is we are already holy and blameless because we are united with the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay po? No? So, ang nakikita ng Diyos, pag nakikita niya tayo, ay ang nakikita niya ay ang kanyang anak na si Jesus. Dahil na kay Jesus po tayo by faith, ano po, sa atin pong pananampalataya, ay yun po ang nag-isa sa atin, sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. So, in principle, we are already holy and blameless. But in practice, all right, in practice, God is already at work in us. Amen po? God is already at work in us. It is not as if uh, yung work ng Diyos to make us holy and blameless is absent at present. Hindi po ganoon. Kung baga, magiging holy and blameless na lamang po tayo kapag namatay na tayo, no? Pero right now, habang andito tayo sa daig nito, we, we are on our own, all right? We are on our own and we can commit spiritual adultery with this world and remain indifferent to our salvation. Hindi po ganoon, ano? Sabi po ng, ng Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4, Just as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we would be holy and blameless before Him. In the New American Standard Bible, lang nakalagay that we would be, all right, that we would be holy and blameless before Him. Hindi sinabi po dito that we will be, no? Ang nakalagay po dito that we would be, all right? So, hindi to future tense. Ito po ay, ano, present tense all right it that we would be all right this is a present tense with a continuous state of action in other words ang ibig sabihin nito it has already been purposed by god when he chose us that we would be holy and that purpose of god is a continuous state so by principle in position we are already declared righteous in the eyes of God because we are in Christ, all right? But because this is a present tense in a continuous state, no, ibig sabihin po, at work na si Lord, amen po, at work na ang Diyos in making us holy, in making us blameless. God's purpose that we would be holy and blameless is already taking effect right at this very moment, my dear brothers and sisters. In fact, 
itong ministry natin na ito, ito pong pakikinig po ninyo, pag-join po ninyo sa ministry na ito, ito ay kilos po ng Lord to mga kapatid eh. No? Ito pong we, we uh, take time no to bless the Lord, to worship the Lord, to hear His word and to intercede. Hindi po tayo ito eh, sa nature natin. Kung sa nature po natin, we would do other things eh. Pero what causes us to listen, what causes us to really take time to attend our prayer watches, some of us never pang nakamiss ng prayer watch, no, nakaka-bless. And it's really, really whose work. It's the Lord. It's God working that we would be holy and blameless. At work na po, mga kapatid, ang Diyos sa puso po ninyo, sa puso ko po, sa puso natin. And yun yung evidence, mga kapatid, na tayo po ay naging totoo ng Christian. Bakit po? Kasi po, may transformation. No? Nalala nyo po, kung walang holy living, walang Holy Spirit. No? Kung wala po doon yung hunger and thirst for holiness, for righteousness, magtaka po tayo kung bakit po, bland ang ating panlasa pagdating po sa mga bagay na holy. All right? Then baka ibig sabihin hindi pa talaga tayo nagiging Christian, no? Kasi if we become a true believer and the Holy Spirit is already dwelling in us, there is already a change in our hearts and God is at work na po, no? For to make us holy and blameless. Now, we know that we are still not perfect. Hindi natin ma-achieve yung perfect holiness, yung perfection, yung blamelessness na yon, blamelessness po na ito dito po sa daigdig po na ito. So, ang kalakip na meaning nung that we would be holy and blameless is that though we are still not perfect because we are still committing sin. Tama po, no? Wala pong perfect na Christian habang nandito po tayo sa daigdig po na ito, no? Nasa flesh pa rin po tayo, nagsa-struggle pa rin tayo sa ating weaknesses, sa ating old sinful nature. We still commit sin, pero ito po ang maganda, mga kapatid. But our perfection to be holy and blameless is already guaranteed and secured for us. Amen po? It is already guaranteed and secured for us. That is why very important yung mga scriptures na nagpapaalala po sa atin na itatawid tayo ng Panginoon hanggang sa finish line. Amen po. Dadalin tayo ng Panginoon hanggang dun sa dulo ng race. No? Yun yung tinatawag nila na perseverance of the saints. Pero actually, we are persevering all because of the grace of the Lord that is at work in us. So in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6, for I am confident of this very thing. Bakit daw confident si Paul? That he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, our confidence about our faith, no? About our walk as Christians, it is not in ourselves. Our confidence is in the grace of God. It is in the faithfulness of the Lord that He who began a good work in us, He will be faithful. Amen po? He will be faithful to complete it, to make it perfect until the day of Christ. Meaning, hanggang dumating tayo, sa puntong haharap na tayo sa Diyos, i-uphold po ng Panginoong Jesus yung mabuting gawain sinimulan niya po sa atin. We will, be, we will be presented to God holy and blameless. Another scripture is in Jude number 24, verse 24. Now to Him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to make you stand in the presence of His glory blameless with great joy. Ito yung tinatawag nilang doxology po ni Jude. Now to him who is able. Mga kapatid, kung wala po itong mga scriptures na ito at kung wala po yung correct understanding natin patungkol po sa ating sanctification at sa ating glorification kung saan tayo po ay perfect po ng Diyos, no? madali po tayong madidiscourage sa atin pong Christian life. Because don't ever forget that we have an enemy whose name is accuser, who never stops day and night to accuse us of our sins, and that is Satan. That is why we need these truths to keep reminding us that God will present us to himself 
holy and blameless. We need to keep reminding ourselves that He who began a good work in us will be faithful to perfect it, to complete it until the day of Christ. God who chose us before time began already saw the full and final accomplishment of His gracious purpose in us. My dear brothers and sisters, babalik tayo ron sa attribute ng Diyos. At ano yung attribute na yun? Na ang Panginoon ay sovereign. Wala siyang pinaplano o pinapurpose na hindi po niya tutuparin o hindi po niya ifulfill. No? Sabi nga po ng Isaiah, He's the God who declares the end from the beginning. What God has purpose that He will fulfill. So, nagsisimula pa lang din declare na ni Lord yung 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 katapusan nito, no? Kaya po yung mga kapatid, yung salvation po natin in the eyes of the Lord, it is already fulfilled. In the eyes of the Lord, it's already completed. Sabi nga po ng Romans chapter 8, no? That those whom the Lord has foreknown, he predestined. Those whom he has predestined, he has called. Those he has he ha- who whom he has called, he justified. And those whom he has just he has justified, he has glorified. Lahat yun past tense, no? Past tense meaning in the eyes of the Lord, it is already final and it is already accomplished. Because never forget na kita ng kita na ng Panginoon God is boundless, no? He is boundless. Kita na po niya ang eternity at one glance, no? So, let us not become discouraged, no? Let us not become discouraged. Let's remember these verses that God is committed to give us the grace that we need to persevere until the end. Amen po? No? Ulitin ko po yun. God is committed to give us the grace to persevere until the end. Amen? So, I hope and pray that you will... Re- we will all remember this, no? Na napakalaki po ng Diyos natin. Amen po? God is so great. God is so big, no? He is more than able, kayang-kaya ng Diyos na tapusin yung magandang sinimulan niya po sa atin pong mga buhay. We just need to keep responding to the grace of the Lord. Now, last na lang po, sa Ephesians 1, 3 to 4, it says, Just as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we would be holy and blameless. And it says before Him, all right, holy and blameless before Him. My dear friends, the most important approval that we ought to obtain from this world is God's approval. What God sees in us, how we are like before Him, is the only thing that truly matters. Amen po? It is the only thing that truly matters. And here it says to be holy and blameless before Him. The only thing that matters is how God sees us. And in the final measurement of all things, what is important is that God will complete the purpose and plan for why He has chosen us and that we would be holy and blameless before Him. Now, as we end no, this exhortation, Siguro po ito lamang isang paalala po sa atin ano as we remember that God is faithful to complete the good work that he has begun in our lives. Isang magandang paalala lang po sa atin mga kapatid is that because God is already at work in our lives no to make us holy and blameless. Ang ibig sabihin po nito, wala po tayong reason na para po tayo ay maging lukewarm or maging mga indifferent po na Christians, no? We do not have any reason to become indifferent or lukewarm Christians. We need to grow in holiness because that is the calling of the Lord upon our lives. Ulitin ko po, we need to grow in holiness, all right? We need to grow in holiness. If by principle, we are already holy in the eyes of God, then We need to be growing in practice kung ano na po yung identity natin ngayon kay Kristo Jesus. Mga kapatid, salvation is not an insurance policy that is ready to be claimed when we die. All right, no? It is not an insurance policy that is ready to be claimed when we die. 
And then, after that, no po, we, for the meantime, we can be indifferent. Hindi po ganoon ang salvation. In Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 and 13, it says, Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Remember last Sunday, our message was the fear of the Lord. Yun nga lamang po mga kapatid, alam nyo, ngayon po, dahil nga po, ang world ay nakapasok sa maraming teachings ng church, no? Ang Christianity po ngayon, no, sobrang chillax na talaga tayo, no? Wala na puro on yung commitment to walk and grow in holiness. Pero, we, were, we have to work out our salvation with fear and trembling, no? It means yung fear of the Lord to be careful not to offend the Lord and to be careful to please the Lord and not to displease the Lord. Let me end with this quote from J.C. Ryle. Sabi niya, Do nothing that you would not like God to see. Say nothing you would not like God to hear. Write nothing that you would not like God to read. Go no place where you would not like God to find you. Read no book of which you would not like God to say, show it to me. Never spend your time in such a way that you would not like to have God say, what are you doing? Amen. We are chosen by God to be holy. That we would be holy and blameless before the Lord. So this is our uh, short exhortation for tonight. Let's now come before the Lord in a time of prayer and intercession. Bago po tayo pumasok sa ating pong time of intercession, uh, babanggitin lang po natin ang answered prayers po natin o isang answered prayer. Kung maalala nyo po, may, may pinag-pray po tayo last week. Last week nga ba yun? Kung maalala nyo po, may pinag-pray po tayo last week si Sister Jasmine na taga um, Pangasinan na may ano po may lung cancer. May nakapanood po ng prayer watch na yon at mayroon pong kapatiran na tinatch po ng Panginoon. At hindi po natin specific, specifically pinagpray po ito ngunit yung kapatiran po na yon ay ay tinatch po ng Panginoon upang magbigay po ng financial donation para po sa pagpapagamot po ng kapatid natin. And isn't that an answered prayer, mga kapatid? And we are grateful for for God's answer to dito po sa, sa pangangailangan po ng kapatid na ito. Ang, prayer, so, ang una po nating prayer request came from uh, Sister Marga uh, asking for prayers for the husband of my high school friend. His name is Melvin and my friend is Mika. Melvin has kidney stones and ang isa... Uh, Ang isa pong stone na yon ay bumababa daw po sa daluyan ng ihi. So masakit po yung ano na yon, yung yung experience na yon. He's 35 years old. Let's pray that uh, he will cling to the Lord, he will call upon the Lord and that the Lord will will uh, heal him and this will be an opportunity for him to surrender his life to the Lord. Tayo po ay manalangin. O Lord, kami po ay lumalapit po sa inyo, Panginoon. No, Napakasalamat po kami, Panginoon, sa inyo pong uh, ginawa ang Panginoon sa amin pong ay pinanalangin Panginoon uh, for Sister uh, Jasmine Lord na kayo po Lord ang nag-touch ng, ng inyong anak Panginoon upang magkaroon po ng burden upang makatulong po Panginoon sa pagpagamot po ni Sister Jasmine and we thank you O God for how you've been moving in in the midst O God of your people that Panginoon, tunay nga po, Panginoon, na kami po ay tinatch, tinatch ninyo, Panginoon, upang may share po namin na aming pagmamahal, Lord, sa bawat isa. At ito po ay, Lord, isang uh, Panginoon, witness nga lamang na kayo po, Lord, ay kumikilos sa, sa inyong mga anak, Panginoon. At, at dalangin namin patuloy, Panginoon, ng procedure po na ginagawa, Panginoon, for Sister Jasmine, Lord, that you will uh, move sa mga procedures na ito at gagamitin niyo po ito Panginoon upang gumaling po ang kanya pong uh, sakit Lord na cancer Lord dalangin po namin na patuloy niyo nga lamang pong uh, payapain na kanyang puso Panginoon at magtiwala nga lamang po sa inyo at Lord at nagpapasalamat po kami Panginoon na uh, uh, kayo po ay buhay at kayo po ay sasagot Panginoon sa aming mga panalangin na ito 
Um, kayo po nakakaalam kung ano po mas makakabubuti, Panginoon, para po sa Kanya. At dalangin, salamat din po, Panginoon, sa kapatid na inyo pong tinatso upang maging uh, makapagbigay ng tulong, Panginoon. At uh, salamat po, Lord. At dalangin lamang po namin ang kapatid na ito na patuloy niyo pong kiliusan ng kanyang puso, Panginoon. Siya po lamang ilumalim sa pananampalataya po sa inyo. At patuloy lamang na magpasalamat, Panginoon, sa mga biyayang binibigay niyo po, Panginoon, sa Kanya. At dinadalangit po namin, Panginoon, si si Mervin ngayon, Panginoong Diyos. Lord, kayo po ang nakakakita ng kanyang situation, Lord. Kayo po ang nakakakita ng, ng sakit niya, Panginoon. At dalangin lamang po namin that this will be the opportunity for him, Lord, to come to know you, Lord. We pray, O oh God, for for your hand, O oh God, to be upon his heart, that you will open the door, O oh God, for the gospel, O oh Lord. Dalangin po namin na, uh, Lord, uh, unang-unang, Magamot Panginoon sa kanya, Panginoon ay ang kanyang kaluluwa na siya po Panginoon ay maligtas Panginoon. Patuloy nga lamang namin hinihiling Panginoon na magkaroon po siya ng tunay na pananampalataya po sa inyo. Na makita po niya kung sino kayo Panginoon at na kayo ang Diyos na Lord um, nagliligtas Panginoon sa pamamagitan ni Kristo Jesus. At dalangin po namin na ialay niya po ang kanyang buhay po Panginoon sa inyo. O Lord at dalangin po namin Panginoon that you will continue o God to move. Lord, maging sa kanya pong situation na ito, Panginoon, medical situation na ito, dalangin po namin, Panginoon, na uh, uh, Lord, magmimilagro po kayo, Panginoon, kayo po ang kumilos, O Lord, upang ipakita niyo po na kayo ay sumasagot, Panginoon, sa panalangin. At sa pamamagitan nito, Panginoon, ay, mak- ay Panginoon, siya po ay magkakaroon lamang, Panginoon, ng desire upang, Lord, um, mas makilala pa kayo, Panginoon, makilala kayo, Panginoon, ng lubusan, O Diyos. Wala pong, wala pong Lord uh, aksidente sa mga pangyayari sa aming mga buhay at marahil ito ay pinadala niyo Panginoon sa kanya upang ito, ito, ito po ang tak, tak, takdang panahon Panginoon upang siya po Panginoon ay makakilala ng tunay po Panginoon sa inyo at dalangin po namin Panginoon na maging ang kanyang Panginoon ang kanyang kaibigan na Sister Marga na gamitin niyo po siya upang maabot po Panginoon ang, ang tao na ito Panginoon ng may bahagi Panginoon na inyong Magandang balita po, Panginoon, sa Kanya. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Pong aming dalangin sa pangalan po ng aming Panginoong Yesus. Amen. Meron din po tayong ipapag-pray ng mga nag-birthday at magbe-birthday. Today is the birthday of Brother M, October 8, and tomorrow ang magsa-celebrate po ng kanyang birthday sa ating church ay si Sister Mac at October 9 naman po si Sister Mac. So, ipag-pray po natin ang uh, atin pong mga kapatid, si Brother M, tsaka po si Sister Mac. Uh, at pagkatapos po noon ay ipag-pray po natin yun pong atin pong service. Ngayon pong darating po na linggo at ipag-pray rin po natin yun pong mga, uh, mga church. So, let's come before the Lord. Father in heaven, maraming marami pong salamat Lord sa mga kapatid po naming nagdiriwang ng kanilang mga kaarawan. Nagpapasalamat po kami Panginoon sa buhay po Lord God ni Brother M, Lord Jesus, sa inyo pong ginawa sa kanya Lord na siya po ay Lord, niligtas po ninyo Father God, tinawag niyo mula sa kadiliman tungo sa inyong liwanag. Salamat Lord sa inyong tinawag at pinili Panginoon O Lord God na Lord, maging anak po ninyo. And dinadalangin namin, Lord, na ang Lord, ang kaligayahang ito, Panginoon, na siya po ay anak ninyo at siya po ay ligtas, O Lord God, ay patuloy, Lord God, na magkaroon po ng, ng, ng deeper reality, Lord God, sa kanya pong puso. Father, we pray, Lord God, na, na, na lalo pa po ninyo, Panginoon, na ipapakilala ang inyong sarili, Lord God, sa aming pong kapatid na ito, Panginoon. Father, we pray, dear Lord God, na, na ibe-bless nyo po lamang, Panginoon, Lord God, higit sa lahat, Panginoon, O Lord, ang kanya pong relationship po sa inyo, O Diyos. Father God, we pray, Lord God, for a deeper intimacy with you, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for a deeper knowledge, O Lord God, of who you are. We pray, Father God, for a deeper relationship with you, dear Lord, Father in heaven. And we do pray, Lord God, na siya po, Panginoon, ay pagbungahin po ninyo, O Lord, ng inyo pong, Lord, ng inyo pong fruit of the Spirit sa kanyang buhay, Panginoon. Father, we pray, Lord God, that you will continue to bless and anoint him, O Lord God, Father God, in in 
O Lord, in the ministries, Lord God, that you have, Lord, entrusted to him, Lord, sa area po, Panginoon, ng worship at ng music, Panginoon. Gamitin niyo po siya, Lord God, upang ma-edify, Panginoon, ang inyo pong, ang inyo pong church, O Lord God. Father God, and we pray, Lord, that you will extend, O Lord God, Panginoon, His spiritual influence, Panginoon, Lord, lalong-lalo na po, Panginoon, sa aming pong mga, Lord, mga kalalakihan, Panginoon, sa aming mga men at sa aming pong mga young adults, O Lord, Father God, we pray, Father in heaven, for spiritual leadership, O Lord, we pray, Father God, for your anointing, O Lord God, we pray, Father in heaven, O Lord, na ang kanyang buhay, Panginoon, ay tunay na maging Christ-like Panginoon, O Lord. May it bring great glory, Father God, to your holy name, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, for our dear brother, O Lord God. Panginoon, we thank you for the life, Lord, of Brother M, O God. Bless him, O God, and may you be the one to fulfill the desires of his heart for your glory. Father God, we also take this time to pray, Lord, for our dear sister, Sister Mac, O Lord God, Panginoon, who will celebrate her birthday tomorrow, Father God. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa buhay po ng aming mahal na kapatid na ito, O Lord God. O Lord, we thank you. We have seen your goodness and your faithfulness, Lord God, in the life of this Lord of this young adult of ours, Panginoon, mula ng kanyang youth, O God, kayo po'y naging tapat, Panginoon, sa buhay po ni Mac, Panginoon. At nagpapasalamat kami, Panginoon, dahil hindi lamang sa kanya, ngunit, Lord, ang inyo pong mga salita, ang inyo pong ebanghelyo, Panginoon, ay, Lord, kumalat hanggang sa kanya pong magulang, Panginoon, hanggang sa kanyang mga kamag-anakan. At salamat, Lord God, sa paggamit po ninyo sa kapatid na ito, O Lord, O Lord God, Panginoon, O Diyos, to further, Lord God, your work, to further your kingdom, Kingdom, Panginoon, O Lord God, marami pong salamat, Panginoon. And dinudulog po namin sa inyo si Sister Mac, Lord God, lalong-lalo na ang kanyang relationship sa inyo. Father, we pray, Lord God, that you will be more dear to her heart. We pray, Father God, that she will have a deeper relationship with you, Lord, a deeper intimacy with you, Father God. We pray, O Lord, na sa kanya pong pag-work, Panginoon, i-manifest you po sa kanya ang inyo pong presence. Lord, we pray specifically for her prayer life, knowing, Lord God, na napaka-busy po, Lord God, ng kanyang schedules, Lord God, sa hospital. And Father, we pray, Lord God, na bigyan niyo po siya ng grace, Lord God, upang kayo po, Panginoon, he, she might have sweet moments of fellowship and communion with you, Lord God. May you also, Lord, continue to protect her, Father God, Panginoon, sa kanyang araw-araw na pagpasok sa hospital, O Lord. Please protect Mac, O God. Shield her, Lord God, Panginoon. And we pray for her and her marriage, Lord, with Brother Jael. And we pray, Lord God, na may you be the center of their marriage. May you be, O Lord God, the... Lord, the head of their family, Panginoon. And we pray that you will fulfill your plan and your purpose, Lord, for these beloved brethren of ours, Father God. Thank you. Please provide for their needs, Father God. Please provide, Lord God, Panginoon, sa kanila pong, Lord, mga pangangailangan. Maraming marami pong salamat. And Lord, ulmalapit po kami sa inyo para po sa gawain po for this weekend, Lord Jesus. Ino-offer po namin sa inyo ang lahat ng mga online ministries, Lord, lahat po ng mga church. Father, we thank you and praise you for your sustaining grace all these months, ever since the pandemic began, Lord God. We thank you, dear Lord, that all over the world, O Lord, ay nagpapatuloy lamang, Panginoon, O God, ang pangangaral ng inyong mga salita, Panginoon. Oh Lord, through the in the platforms on the internet, and Father, we continue to pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord God, upon your church, oh dear Lord, we pray that your word and only your word will be preached. We pray, Father, that the gospel, oh Lord, oh God, will be proclaimed faithfully, oh Lord God, and truthfully, oh Lord. 
Father in heaven, we pray for your grace, Lord, upon every preacher of your word, O Lord God. We pray for your enabling, your protection, your shielding, Lord, upon all the pastors, upon all the evangelists and preachers of your word, O Lord. Father God, i-protect niyo po, Panginoon, Lord, ang mga lingkod ninyo. Lord God, alangin po na... Lord, ilayo niyo po ang bawat isa, Panginoon, O Lord God, sa false teachings. Ilayo niyo po, Panginoon, ang mga lingkod ninyo, Panginoon, sa Lord, anumang turo, Panginoon, that would adulterate the Word of God. Father, we pray, O Lord, O God, that you would preserve your church. We pray, Father God, that you would preserve, O Lord, your Word, Lord, Father God, as a perfect spiritual nourishment for your people, Father God. Lord, we just continue to pray, Father in heaven, for Lord, all your messengers, Lord God. We pray for holiness, for purity. We pray, Father God, for Lord, a sincere devotion to Jesus Christ, to know Him more, O Lord, above everything. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon, O God. Pinapanalangin lamang po namin sa inyo ang mga church namin. Hindi lamang po ang gospel of grace, pero kung kami po ay, Lord, may mga church, Panginoon, O God, patuloy namin hinihiling na kayo po ay mapapurihan at maluwalhati, Panginoon, and continue, Lord, to strengthen Please strengthen, Lord, your church. Father, we thank you, Lord, for our efficient series. We thank you so much, Lord God, for these words. And I pray that you will bless this series on efficiency, Lord, to strengthen, Lord God. Lord God, our our brethren, Lord, please strengthen, O oh Lord God, Panginoon, our church members, Panginoon. And Lord, not just from gospel of grace but we pray Lord God na lahat po ng mga makakapakinig na mga mananampalataya Panginoon ng, ng salita ninyo Panginoon will truly be strengthened and established Lord in your holy word salamat Panginoon oh God we bless you we praise you we worship you we thank you and praise you for your wonderful faithfulness oh Lord we thank you Lord for your word tonight oh Lord that you have chosen us that we would be holy and blameless, Lord, before your sight. Father God, there are times, Lord, that we are discouraged in our walk. There are times, Lord God, na napapatingin kami, Panginoon, sa aming mga shortcomings, sa aming mga sarili, Lord, sa aming sinfulness, O Lord God. And Father, we pray, Father God, that you will... Lord, you will help us to fix our faith and our gaze only upon our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our all in all and who is more than able to keep us from stumbling and to present us, Father, before your glorious presence without fault and with great joy. We thank you that you, Lord Jesus, who began a good work, O Lord, in us will be faithful to complete, to perfect this work. Salamat po, Panginoon, kay buti po ninyo at maingat po namin binabalik sa inyo, Father God, lahat po ng papuri, pagsamba at pagluluwalhati sa matamis na pangalan ni Kristo Jesus. Ito po ang aming panalangin. Amen and Amen. Good evening po, our dearest brothers and sisters. God bless you. Enjoy your time with your family. And see you po sa atin pong Sunday worship gathering sa darating po na linggo. Salamat po for joining. God bless and good night. Music